Hello everybody and welcome to Ravenel Ford. My name is Chad with Charleston Car Videos. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2019 Ford F-250 King Ranch with FX4 off-road package plus the Power Stroke diesel engine. Stay tuned. We're going to have a great time. We're going to look at everything from the outside to the inside with this beautiful American-made truck. Here we go. So to start out this review, let's go ahead and drive it to our spot today to review it. And let's go ahead and crank it up. Here's our smart key right here. Now, a few things you got options of doing with this smart key. First thing you can do with it, you can remote start the truck with the key outside your house or work. So that's a nice feature to have. Another feature that I've learned today that we have is you can actually roll down the two front windows with the key to the truck. All you have to do is basically hold down the unlock button for over five seconds and your two front windows will drop down to let any heat or anything like that out of the truck. So that's a great feature right there off the get-go. So a lot of people don't realize that and that's why we're talking about it today. I do believe that feature is also available in different trim levels of this truck as well. Um, another great feature you do have on the truck is the power tailgate feature. So, I mean, there's so many things that this key does to make your life just a little bit simpler. Hit the button twice on here, it will drop down the rear tailgate to the back of the truck. And then, if you need a little help getting into the back of the truck, it does have our step system with Ford that is so unique and just a great feature to have on any Ford truck to make your life easier getting in and out of the back of that truck. Now, if you had any other things that you're wondering that this key does, well, of course, it does help crank up the truck. So once we get in, we put our foot on the brake, hit the start-stop engine button to crank up. Let's go ahead and do that. And now you can hear that power stroke diesel engine cranked up and running, and all our bells and chimes inside the truck are letting us know that we are alive and ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and put our seatbelt on and get ready to drive this truck right over here by these beautiful Carolina trees. So definitely get in the comment section today on YouTube here, or if you're watching on Facebook or wherever it's at, and let us know what kind of truck do you drive. Do you already drive a Ford truck? Do you drive a Chevy truck, a GMC, a Toyota? Do you drive a Ram? What do you drive today? And then are you actually making a decision right now to pick out a new truck to buy because you're gonna be replacing your old truck or maybe adding a new truck to your fleet of trucks? Because we definitely have seen people online commenting saying I've already owned several trucks for my business or I've been a Ford truck driver for many years and I'm going on my third, this, that, and the other. So please get in the comment section and give us a little input about you and why you're watching the video today. Now one thing I love about the King Ranch and on the Platinums and any of the trucks that are available with the panoramic glass sunroof, and that's exactly it. I love this sunroof up top. Um, basically you got some controls and buttons right up here. We can go ahead and open up our actual uh, sunroof so we can see out and it stretches all the way back to the second row seats back there, so that's pretty nice. Today we're kind of starting out the review inside the truck and then when we get to our location in a minute we'll get outside and take a look around. But that really opens up nice and wide and makes the interior feel a lot more open, whether you're in the front or the back. I mean, definitely got a lot of room in here, if you can tell. I mean, this is a lot of space for two guys or a guy and a man or a woman or whatever to sit up here. So you got a lot of room. You got a lot of space here on the armrest as well. You got your iconic King Ranch logo right there that's nice. And there's just a lot going on inside this truck, from the technology to the comfort. I mean, the music system is a banging olsifin. The screens, the cameras, there's a lot going on. And that's why you're going to see the price of this truck today, and I'll help you understand what you're actually paying for with that price and what you get. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the truck in movement and head on down to our location. So of course, you know, on the King Ranch, the shifter's on the column. We don't have it going on right in this area here. A lot of people really do love being able to shift gears from the column like that, okay? So that's nice to have. Your mirrors are definitely nice and big out there for you. And believe it or not, it's not a difficult truck to drive. You know, a lot of times people get kind of, uh, you know, a little bit shy or a little bit nervous driving such a big vehicle. But once you kind of get the hang of it in here, you're gonna like it a lot. It feels good sitting up higher off the ground. 
and uh, you definitely do feel like you're the king of the road driving your King Ranch F-250. Now one thing I'm going to show you real quick is while we are actually in movement, we can click this button here and we can see our camera views. As you can see right there, there's those cameras. Basically those cameras will stay on until you get to about 5 or 10 miles per hour. And you can switch the views around. auxiliary there and all that good stuff all right so it's feeling good you know it's just a nice big truck it's not the easiest to uh, maneuver around in tight parking spots though i'll tell you that much we got a tight one that we're doing right now let's show y'all with the camera view here see as you can see we're gonna have to maneuver ourselves right on through here so let's go ahead and do that As you can see, you want to look in your mirrors. And get right on through here, okay? Without bumping into anything. And let's see, when this position here, when we're so tight with other vehicles, we're gonna go ahead and give us give ourselves this camera view here so we can see exactly what's going on while trying to get through here without hitting something. Okay? As you're noticing, we're doing good. I think we got it. We definitely do. Good to go on maneuvering right through that tight spot. All right, everybody, so it is definitely a warm day. Even though it's, you know, the beginning of September, I think today's September 6th, it is still warm outside here in the Carolinas. Um, the AC blows nice and cold in this truck, so that's nice to know. But I think my favorite feature on this truck is the cooled seats because it really does feel nice on my back right now and on my bottom. So the cooled seats are great. If it gets cold in the Carolinas or wherever you live at, you got heated seats as well to keep you warmed up. So you got you got best of both worlds there, cooled and heated seats. Now we're gonna go ahead and get outside the truck. We'll make our way back inside the truck later on but let's go ahead and hop out again i am six foot one 215 220 pounds something like that plenty of headroom up top as you can see right there and plenty of leg room as well so you got plenty of space even though you got this nice center console here it's not really rubbing up on my leg or anything like that so that's really nice i don't think you're gonna worry about back room back there at all for leg room and head room it's just as good as in the front um it's just a big truck it's an f-250 and that's what it's all about is having extra space cargo room towing all that stuff you know this is like the ultimate ultimate american truck anyways one thing i like about it a whole lot is these steps on the bottom take a look as you can see right when i open up the door they just fold right out so i mean when you close the door they fold right back up under you never would even know that you have uh side steps or running rails or anything like that on the vehicle so that's a great feature and it's nice to have something to step onto when getting in or out of the truck it really is you know this truck isn't terribly too high up off the ground but still that just that extra step there makes it really convenient even for a guy six foot tall now let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this vehicle and get the camera off of me for a minute and go ahead and put it on the truck. All right, everybody, so here it is, the 2019 F-250 King Ranch with the Power Stroke 6.7 liter diesel. Wow, man, what a bold statement this truck makes, don't it? It really, really does make a bold statement. Now, one of the most boldest statements that this truck can make is these headlights. I mean, they are massive in size. They're about $1,000 a piece for just one light. All LED, as you can see right there, from the blinkers to the daytime running lights, which that's what these are right here, to the headlights and to the brights down on the bottom. And you got LED fog lights right down there as well. So, I mean, everything in the front is LED. It's brighter. It looks better. It's just beautiful, you know? I love it. I love the front end. All this chrome is just so luscious and so creme de la creme, you know? It's just, it's got that money look about it. 
It really does. People just love chrome and then this white. This is not just your basic work truck white like you're seeing over there. This has got some pearlescent to it, some metallics in there. I mean, it just makes it just makes it look so much better than a traditional white work truck, right? Oh, of course it does. So anyways, if you own one of these and let's say you're pulling up on the job site, you know, they're going to know the boss man's rolling in with his F250 King Ranch. Now, on the bottom, even these are all chromed out. The Ravenel Ford logo looks great down there in gold. You have a camera on the front, as you've seen with the camera systems already. What a great feature to have. Again, safety at its finest, but it's more than just safety with those cameras. It's also making sure that your truck doesn't bump into anybody else's vehicle or your vehicle. So those cameras make a big difference, but it is safety. It is because you don't want to run into anything or hurt somebody or anything like that. Now, let's keep on moving around, right? We will pop the hood here in just a moment, but let's go ahead and look at our wheels. Pretty massive, right? You're saying what size rim is on here for 2019? Well, they're 20 inch wheels just like you had last year in 2018. A 275 65 series Michelin tire can't go wrong there at all. Here's the suspension right up in there. As you can see, all that looks pretty good. Okay, it's got that felt type of interior on here, so it's not just that hard plastic. Supposedly that type of material that's in there, some would like to call it carpet, um, is to help with sound detonator and all that kind of thing. The mirrors are big, the logos are big. I mean, everything's big on the King Ranch. Full four door, chromed out handles. Still, some call this old technology because it's been on Ford vehicles probably for 20 years now. But even in 2019, you're still getting this little keypad feature where you can punch a code in to unlock the truck in case you don't have the key. We will get to the price here in just a minute after we take a look at the rear. Again, it is diesel. So you got your diesel fuel going in here. You got your DEF going in right there. You do got a back window that has a spot that opens and closes. You got your camera up there. You got your lighting that shines down into here. All that good stuff. Beautiful bed liner. You got the hookups for a fifth wheel if you need to do that. Logos look good. Also, taillights are all LED as well. Blind spot radar system is built into that taillight, but again, you can tell they're LED. How? Because there is no fade or fade in and fade out. Okay, that's an all LED taillight there. King Ranch is iconic to having this right here through the middle. I think you'll also notice on your platinum version of the F-250, it will have that as well. And it's a super duty there too. Tow package, okay, backup sensors, backup camera. This also will light up right here. That is a LED rear backup light, which is nice. You have LED lighting here for your tag lights as well. Ford is not cutting any corners at all when it comes to lighting. Okay, I want y'all to really pay attention to that. You know, I've been looking at the new 2019 Chevys. They're cutting corners on all kinds of stuff. I'm serious. They cut in corners on costs. I will preach it and preach it and preach it about Ford. Ford may cost you thousands of dollars more than buying a Chevy or a Ram or a Toyota, but they're not cutting corners on the craftsmanship and the fit and finish and the way they're building their vehicles. This is again the reason why you're going to pay more for a Ford and also later down the road when you sell it or trade it in, you'll get more for it than you will for any other truck brand out there on the marketplace. But right now we're going to do something that I normally do not do, but I'm trying to show y'all a little something different for once. We're going to actually try to get our camera under here and look around a little bit. Look at the exhaust, just the way it's made. As you can see, none of the piping down here is flattened out. Everything is nice, big, round tubes, you know? Cylinders. That's something to pay attention to. That new uh, Chevrolet truck. They're saying already, I haven't seen it for myself, but they're saying that the piping under there for the exhaust is flattened out at the bottom. That is not a good thing, supposedly, for exhaust. You want your airflow to be able to roll nice and smoothly up out of there, okay? So that's all important things, and again, reasons why the Ford truck's craftsmanship is better than any other truck. I mean, I want y'all to look at that. There you go. There's that piping rolling right on through there, coming out the back. I mean, the welds look great, the TIG welds or the MIG welds or whatever they want to call them, but it looks phenomenal. And then you got these beautiful pipes sitting right there. There's no dark smoke anymore coming out or anything like that on your newer uh, diesel trucks. 
I believe the older diesel trucks were the ones that were blowing out all that nasty black smoke. I've heard and I haven't ever seen it happen on these newer ones. It just it's it's nice clean diesel fuel air <laughs> coming out the back of the pipe, okay? Anyways, if diesel fuel could ever be clean in a sense, it's it's better on this, I believe. While we're back here, like I mentioned earlier, you do got your power tailgate. You can hit a button, it drops right down, or you can actually click on the remote. You also have your step system here that just pops right out. You're probably seeing some of that stuff on the screen right now. So, you know, that makes life a lot easier for you when you're getting in and out of your truck. Believe me, I'm telling you that right now. You got LED lights in the back of this truck. You got a button to cut them on from right here. That is so convenient. Again, I will tell you what I'm basing my opinions off on a Chevy Silverado for 2019, the 1500 series. Yes, they have added in lights back here for the stuff in the back. That's nice to know, but there is not a button to cut them on from right here in the back. Again, this is more convenient for the truck owner loading things in and out and needing some light at night time instead of having to go in there and manually cut a light on from inside the cabin. You can do it all from right here in the back. Another thing I'm going to tell you right now, what breaks this apart different from a Chevrolet, yes, that is a power tailgate on the back of this truck, but we do have an actual latch. Do you see what I'm talking about? talking about. Well, actually, I take that back for a minute. I'm taking it back right now. So it's kind of deceiving here. You would think this is a latch, but no, it is all power. You click that button, it drops down. But I still will tell you what I'm thinking here. At least the button is up underneath, okay? It's not exposed out here like this where you can see it like the Silverado has done okay so again it's it's up under here which I think that's gonna help out a lot more on weathering so that button doesn't get worn out as fast the Chevy's is literally right out in the open boom you click it it just doesn't look good that way Ford has done a great job of at least making it look like a latch I really almost thought there was still a latch there I wish there was but you know my only question to that latch or that button system is what do you do when the battery dies and you need to drop that tailgate down? That's my only question and now I'm curious with the Fords as well. But it's okay. Let's get to the price everybody because that's one of the main things everybody wants to know. So a 2019 F-250 King Ranch equipped like this one here is going to retail out at $80,415. So we're talking $80,000. You're already getting though a 4642 Ravenel Ford discount. It's 75773, which is $98 over factory invoice. We sell all new trucks, all new vehicles, 98 over invoice. $500 rebate puts you at 75,273. Also, another $500 discount here if you decide to finance with Ford Motor Company. There's no dealer admin fees, there's no dock fees, there's no processing fees. There's no dealer add-ons. They call it an ADP, added dealer profit sticker. Okay, rust proofing, paint sealing, undercoating, closing dock fees, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup, selling dealer. Beware. We don't do those dealer add-ons, folks. We just don't do it. Okay, we're going to save you a lot of money. I've already done the math on it. If, if you had a deal rabbit fee of $300 times 100 car sales a month for 12 months, it's $473,000 a year somebody, a dealership will make off of a deal rabbit fee. We don't do it here. We're passing savings on to you. So that's the exterior. Let's go ahead and go inside here and pop the hood, right? Pop the hood. Is there a button to pop a hood, right? Well, I'm looking for the button just to open the hood right now. It's right here. It's a hood release. Okay? That is your power tailgate button right there. You have buttons here to move these around down here, as you can see. Look at that. See how that's moving? Okay? If you're shorter or taller, you can move those around. You got vinyl floors in here, which is a little bit interesting. I thought you'd have carpet with rubber mats, but you got vinyl floors in here. It's really when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, folks, you got yourself a work truck. Okay, but a really nice one. You do have some buttons here where you can cut on lights, LED lights on these mirrors. We're going to look at those real quick before we go under the hood. There they are. That's your LED lights right in there, which is shining like out like that. Okay. Chevrolet has them now in their 1500 series truck if you get a higher trim level one. But again, they just, it's not... It doesn't look like this, okay? On the Chevy truck, it's just a little square here. You can see two LED lights, and that's it. The way Ford's got all this stuff built in and looking so nice and clean, that is so much nicer. These mirrors do extend out as well if you need to do that. 
Let's go ahead and cut those off for a moment. Hit our button. Definitely a lot easier to use. And let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we got going on under here. So one thing I always point out now on these F-250 trucks is you do have two LED lights up under the hood to see exactly what's going on down here. You got two batteries, one over here, one over there. Your turbos, your engine, they pack a lot of motor up under the hood of this truck and there's a lot going on under here that I don't always seem to know about. But I do know one thing, it is a diesel engine. If you're curious how much horsepower this engine provides, here you go. If you're curious what the torque is, here you go. Not bad. That's a lot of power for this big truck to get the job done. This is what we call an earth mover, mover, earth mover. This will move the earth. All right, everybody, you just got done watching the exterior review. Now let's go ahead and do our interior review, starting out with the back seats on the Ford F-250 for 2019. Again, a King Ranch. So as you can see, a beautiful door panel here, power window, speakers, storage spots, beautiful synthetic wood trim. You know, a lot of trucks out there have synthetic wood trim on them, like Chevrolet, but it just doesn't even look like wood. And at least Ford makes it look like wood. That's nice. Now let's go ahead and hop up in here, see how our leg room is working and our headroom is working. Now one thing I always like to show you is you got a handle to help yourself get inside the truck, okay? So we're getting in. Okay, now look up top here. That's your big panoramic sunroof. Again, not a lot of truck brands are gonna have a roof like that. It's nice, it is, and when you're spending $80,000 or even 75 after discounts, you're gonna want one of those. Now, it feels good sitting up nice and high up off the ground, it really does. You make yourself feel like the king of the road sitting in the king of the road, right? The king ranch. Let's go ahead and close our door. It's quiet. You can rest your arm right there. You can rest it down here. You got a handle here. You got a coat hanger. You got lighting, LED. Same exact setup on the passenger side. Now, do you have a cup rest or an arm rest in the center? We got an arm rest. Thank you, Ford. That is where you rest your arms. Two people can rest their arms here. That's an armrest. Chevrolet has provided their customers with a cup rest, meaning the cup holders are on top. Ford is doing it the right way. Cup holders here. I can still rest my arm. Now, you might laugh at me right now while I'm telling you about that, but go on a long trip and see if you want yourself a cup rest or an armrest. I think I'll take the cup rest over an armrest any day of the week. You do have a spot to throw iPads, tablets, maps, or whatever you want to throw in there. Cup holders here. So you got four for the back people. Air vents that aren't on the floor. Air vents that sit up high enough. All right, my camera battery died a second ago, so I'm not sure where I left off at, but let me just tell you one more time. Again, you have a 400 watt max outlet here, 110 volt. That's a lot better than other trucks out there doing a 150 volt outlet. So that's a great thing. Also in the back of the truck, you got nice headrests. It's just a nice interior in general, and uh, it's just very comfortable even in the back. We got a lot of headroom, a lot of leg room, just a great place to sit right here in the back of the truck. Let's see what it looks like from sitting in the back looking into the front. So as you can see, a beautiful cockpit here on the F-250. You know, this is what real American truck craftsmanship is all about, as you can see here. I mean, just the curvature of the dash, the center console, the armrest, the cup holders, the seats, the headrests. I mean, look how, I mean, established in 1858's right engraved in there. I mean, it's just a beautiful interior on this truck. You know, this is like the Bentley of American trucks. That's what I would say. You have tons of auxiliaries up here. You got six of them in total for those LED lights, whatever you need to hook up with the auxiliaries. You got home link up top up there, microphones, you got big mirrors with lights and just everything you need. Let's go ahead and move up to the front and see exactly what's going on in the front of the cockpit. 
Now before we do get up to the front, let's go ahead and open up and we'll show you one more feature in the back of this truck that people just love having on their F-250 and F-150 by the way, and it's this seat and how it can actually be pulled up like that and look at all the storage you have right under here. I mean, is that not incredible? I've been talking about it for a while now, but again, this is incredible. Chevy's way of having nothing there but just some carpet is not effective at all when it comes to using all the space inside of a vehicle to give people options. And this is a great option here. Throw baseball bats in, golf ball clubs, golf balls, bottled water. Stuff doesn't have to move around and roll up under your seats and all that and you're nailing your head against a wall because you can't find stuff and where it's at. If you don't need this part right here, to be used as a cargo area, you can take it and just fold it down and boom, you're done. Okay, so that's great. And the other side opens up as well. I, again, I just I, I can't rave enough about the back seating area on a Ford truck. They really have done a great job. All right, let's go ahead and start with the front. Again, beautiful door panel here, lots of storage. You got leather, hard plastic, still kind of soft though in a sense, synthetic wood trim. Power windows, one touch settings on every single window, power mirrors, you can move the mirrors out and in, okay? So never try to force it out or in on one of these types of trucks, okay? Unless you got a work truck or something. You got memory seats, more storage here, big massive latch there, very nice. Right here, those lights we showed earlier, you have, you know, these are going to hook up those LED lights on the mirrors so you can see at nighttime, maybe when you're just depending on where you're at. Uh, light controls right there, fog lights, that's the rear light in the back so you can shine down into the tailgate area. Power tailgate, pedal assist, still got a, uh, a regular e-brake which is great. I'm not a fan of electronic e-brakes. This is nice. Vinyl floors of course, 10-way power seat with lumbar support and then a beautiful leather seat inside this truck. The stitching looks good, the design is great and it's comfortable and I'm telling you this is a very nice type of leather in here. I don't know if it's rawhide or, or Napa leather or whatever leather is, I'm not exactly sure, but I can tell you this is not no cheap leather inside of this truck. It's a King Ranch and it's a King Ranch for a reason. I also like on the steering wheel, the leather looks great on there, but I also like that you got a power tilt and telescope going on on the steering wheel which is pretty nice and I'm pretty sure you can program that up with your memory seats so it'll get up and get out of the way when you're unlocking or getting in the truck and all that. Once we close her up it's a nice solid feel. It's quiet. The AC is blowing cold. The cooled seats feel good. You got heated seats. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them down for a minute and I'm gonna turn this radio down and turn these fan speeds down because this truck is already nice and cool inside. You got a lot of controls and buttons on your steering wheel. This is a multi-information display screen button. It's going to control that beautiful LCD screen right there, okay? As you can see those buttons. Then you got cruise control, volume and skip and memory and all that good stuff for radio. Then you got voice command, phone system for Bluetooth, hang up, mute. We will take a moment to look through this center screen here and just kind of browse through there and see what's going on. Let's see if we can zoom in a little more and get the camera nice and focused. Boom, there we go. And uh, just kind of browse around in here a little bit. There we go, as you can see, towing, gauge, tire pressure, digital speedometer, diesel exhaust fluid status, engine information, transmission temperature, all that, gasoline, fuel, trip one, trip two, fuel economy, fuel history, navigation and compass. You know, you got your star there for my view. You got towing, tow, towing the status, towing information, trailer light check, trailer tire pressure, trailer setup, connection checklist. Man, that is really nice. I mean, it's almost like a, 740, a Boeing 787. You know, you got a big checklist you got to go down before they take it off in flight. You got your off-road. It's going to say the, uh, you know, the dimensions and all the measurements and everything going on on how your truck's sitting on the ground wherever you're at. Then you got settings here, advanced settings, lane keeping system, gauge selection, DTE calibr cal uh, calculation, trailer blind spot, rear park aid. I mean, good gracious, there's a lot of features. Oh, even more, auto high beam, blind spots on, cross traffic alert is on, driver alert on, rear park aid on, trailer blind spot on. 
I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So there's a lot of stuff that that does right there. That's really nice. Let's see what this does here. Navigation compass. There we go. Okay. Pretty sweet. Now, if that wasn't enough on that screen there, then you got a whole nother screen over here. I mean, the list goes on and on. We're going to look through this screen real quick. Again, because I know there's people out there that are going to want to see it. Now, not a whole lot has changed from 2018 to 2019 on this screen, but we're going to peel this off real quick just to show y'all. It's touch screen. You can hit the home button. As you can see there, you got the map on the left, radio on the right. You can do radio in full screen. You got XM and Sirius, AM, FM, all that good stuff. You can, uh, you know, run in your uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, auxiliary, all that kind of thing. You got climate control you can put up on the screen right there. Pretty sweet. Heated steering wheel button right there if you want to heat that steering wheel up. Phone. You can add a phone. You can have all your phone numbers in here, all your contacts. You can have everything in here. Text messages, whatever you need. Navigation, boom, there we go. In full screen in our nav mode. You got apps, you can do that. Sirius XM travel link, find mobile apps, add a device, okay. Settings, this is where it gets a little more technical. Sound, we can roll through here with our EQ, treble, mid range, bass, all that good stuff, okay. We won't get too in depth, but we are kind of browsing through. You got a clock. Booyah! Clock format, 24 hour. You can also do 12 hour, which is more my style. Bluetooth right there, phone there, radio, navigation, mobile apps, general. That's not all. 911 assist, voice control, so you can learn all them voice commands. Valet mode, Wi Fi hotspot, 4G LTE built in. Vehicle, multi contour seats. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy macaroni. This thing is getting to be really nice. Display right there. Change that up. Brightness mode, auto dim, all that kind of stuff. So this is really sweet. General language. You're just getting three languages. English, French, and Espanol. No Russian. Sorry, Russian folks. Miles. Okay, switch it up. Kilometers if you live in Canada or Australia or wherever you live that has that. Temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius, touch screen beep, you can have that on like it is now. About sync, software licenses, all that stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that that home screen does for you, okay? Up top, you got a little storage spot. You got B&O, which is a Bang & Olufsen stereo system built into this truck, very nice. Four wheel drive controls down here. Brake gain right there. Climate controls here, if you don't wanna do them on the screen. Radio controls there. Heated and cooled seats, two USB ports right down in there. You also got a um, nice little storage spot. As you can see, I got some keys and phone in there. Cup holders here, storage there. Slide it over for dual four or quadruple cup, cup holders. And you can do that. I love that wood trim. That's pretty. Another 110, 400 watt max outlet. Boy, Ford definitely hooks it up. Beautiful gauges in, or beautiful vents with the chrome, super duty. Got a little storage spot right there. Another one here with a lock on it. Very nice. Up under here, got a little hiding spot. How about that? Check it out. Throw that key in there, right? Not a hiding spot, though. <laughs> I like to call it a hiding spot, but it's not. That's for the technicians to program your key fob with the vehicle when it comes in from the shop. Let's put that back on there for the dealership so we keep it nice and clean. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once. Nope, it's not interested in doing that right now. Okay. Big, big, uh, big armrest, just like we got in the back. Not a cup rest, an armrest. You can lock it up. There's a lock right there. And it's nice and big, and it's got a lot of storage in there. Very nice. And a 12 volt down at the bottom. Hope you're enjoying what we're doing so far. This is in-depth, folks, okay? That's the difference in some people's videos. Some people will just talk about what they like on a truck or what they think you like. I have to sit here and talk about every little thing I can so you can see. Because, again, you're looking to buy a truck and um, you want to see exactly what it's got on it without having to go to the dealership and deal with a salesperson. So that's what you're doing right now. I'm like your digital salesperson. So only one sunglass holder up there. Okay, got a lot of different lights on the inside though, LEDs, and controls for your sunroof and all that. Home link, vanity mirror right there. 
It can fold out that way. It can go up like that and keep that sun out your face, okay? Not bad. All right, everybody, that's about it for the interior part of the review. You know, I've been kind of um, switching it up a little bit and, and chopping some of these videos up. We do one big in-depth review, and then we I've been chopping them up and doing one video just for the interior view because I'm learning that some people may not want to see the entire review on the exterior. They may just want to see the interior. So I hope some of y'all are enjoying how I'm uh, chopping the videos up a little bit and doing that. Um, for the regular subscribers on the channel, you know, if you just watch the in-depth, there you go. Um, so I think y'all, that's why I mentioned that just now, so y'all understand why I'm doing that. Because again, not everybody wants to watch a full 20 plus minute video. Some may just want to see the interior. Other than that, beautiful truck, great truck. I'm loving the King Ranch for 2019. You know, just because Chevrolet is changing up their body style does not mean Ford needs to change up their body style right now. Of course, that day will come when Ford does a, um, you know, a redesign on this truck. But right now, I don't see any need for a redesign on the Ford F-250 at all, nor the Ford F-150. These trucks are already ahead of their time and, and out competing against these other brands, even when they're changing up to their new body styles. And uh, to be honest with you, this is just perfect right the way it is. But like I said, it will come and they will do a redesign. But I can guarantee you this, I got faith and trust in Ford Motor Company that whatever they do do a redesign to on these trucks, you will love it even more than what you like it liking right now. And that's hard to believe because I really like this a whole lot right now. I don't know what more they could do to a body style change to make it look even better, but somehow every four, five, six, seven years, they do. All right, everybody, have a great day. Come see my friends at RavenelFord.com. Let them know you watched the video. Come and see them. You don't have to just live here in Charleston to buy a truck from us. You know, we had a guy call from Arizona a couple weeks ago wanting to buy a Platinum. So, I mean, you can live anywhere in the world. You can save thousands of dollars doing business with us at Ravenel Ford. I mean, that's a given. You've seen that on the price tag part of the video today. I mean, no dealer admin fees, no dog fees, no admin fees, no dealer add-ons. I mean, it really is car buying made easy. Come down and see my friends at Ravino 4. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you then.